Hello, Mr. Eric, Mr. Ryan, how are you today? Yay! Good. Okay, so today we talk about some uh, uh, easy problem, mathematic problem, okay? So look, if a guy wants to build a wall, but this is the old wall, yeah? Old wall, okay? Old wall. Old wall. And then he has this, the, he wants to build a rectangle wall, and then look, rectangle wall. Rectangle wall, okay? And then he has the lens of the, this lens, this lens, right? He has a lens. He has to. He wants to use the total lens of thirty-two. This is no one, okay? Thirty-two, right? And then it has to be a rectangular wall. And what's the maximum? We want to maximum this a area. I don't get it. Area. So look, this plus. So what? This this old wall, and then he has the lens of this. The what what do you call this? You want to build a wall of this? Lens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the that's the height. Okay, height, and that's the width. Okay. Yeah. So so what can we get with the thirty two? H plus H plus W equals thirty two, right? Yeah. Got it. Uh -huh. This is no one, right? Yeah. yeah. And we want to maximize. What's the area of this rectangle? It must be H plus H plus W plus W. No, 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 the, the area, not the length. The oh. length is these three pieces added together, 32. H times W, including the old wall. Yeah, the area, yeah, of course. So we want to maximize this. We want to maximize this, okay? What do you mean? Maximize, to make it bigger, the largest. Yeah, that's one of the problems in your book, right? Yeah, remember? It get, your book yeah. gets bigger. Yeah. Okay. Do, do, you, do you get this problem? Mm, yeah. yeah. How okay. can the book get bigger? What's your thought? I mean, how... Three! Four things. Improve four things. But how, how do we improve four things? You know, these, these are the integers, right? Checking okay. every wall if yeah. they're the Could same size. Yeah, yeah improve four things, yeah. So we can improve first. Okay, using computer, how do we improve first? Mm -hmm. Right? How do we improve first? If, if this W and H are integer, right? The pieces, you know, the, the, I, I don't know what, what do you call it, the bricks. Yeah. This unit, one unit, two units. So we can prove us. We can prove us which either with W, the width, or H, right? Or H. What's the minimum width you can, we can try? Um. So we can list the table, right? We can list the table. Yeah, can we, can we list the, the table? Width is bigger than the height. What do you want to eat, uh, prove for us? What do you want to try? You can try with H or you can try with W. Up to you. Mm. Pick one. W. W, okay. Let, let's do w. this W. W, okay? W. W. W, and then we have a second column, H. And then that will be the area, okay? Area. Okay, we, we just need a where, list, the list of you. Area. Area, okay. Where but when area? W is 1, what's H? What's the value H? Why yeah. um, H equals thirty two minus W divided yeah. by two, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Look, yeah? Yeah? Alright? Yeah? But five one can't divide by two. That yeah, that's okay. So you oh, H mm -hmm. is not So you. So what? So oh, what's that? So yeah, okay, so what's the value of H at, at this point? You can do it's it's fine. The thirty one uh thirty one divided by two, right? Yeah. What's go the go, area? Go. What's the area? W times H would be right. Yeah. That's the fifteen point five, right? Okay. So we can write it as fifteen point five. Fifteen point five. Okay. Let's try to. Let's prove for thing. Yeah. Prove for thing. What what's 15. the fifteen? And what's the area? Um. Thirty. Okay. Look. Yeah. And then we can try. Keep going, man. Let us let, do a, a few. A uh, three. Three. Twenty nine divided by two. And then these would be, I I don't know. Three times fourteen point five. Okay. So it's bigger. Yeah. So basically, we we just want to try these. Yeah. Try this W. Try each W. No, no, it's not going to take ever. How how much? How what's the maximum? Number we can try. Come on. Hundred. Why is it hundred? Come on, like given, given condition thirty two. Yeah. So all you not, not even thirty two, thirty one, up to thirty one, right? Because thirty two, the edge will be zero. It will be 
a line. That, that's not possible, right? You're not beating a wall. Then it has to be half. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. If it's image, yeah, you can try, okay? Uh, this is this, this, good. This is brute forcing we try, and we can ask computer to try that. Okay, let's do this computer thing, and then I talk to you about mm -hmm. the mathematics, which is is even better in this case. So how do we brute forcing? Mm -hmm. We can brute forcing the W, yeah. Can brute forcing. Look, W plus two times H equals thirty two, and what we want is W times H. We want to calculate this the maximum, right? We want to get to the maximum size of this one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how look the first of all we want to say the answer equals zero, right? Yeah? And then we want we want to find out we want to keep the uh we want to go for for W, yeah. Uh, alternative you can go with H, right? Yeah, so we try with the H maybe easier, right? For H in range we start from one up to up to what? Up to what, right? Yeah. The, um, uh, the thing minus one. Look, the all H, H. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe up to up to what? Up to sixteen, right? You can't be over than sixteen because the over is sixteen, and this will be over thirty two, and this will be negative, right? All right. Oh yeah. So let's say sixteen, okay? Let's make it sixteen, and that be the maximum will be fifteen, okay? Okay. Look, H is that, and what? W equals what? Thirty two minus two times H, right? Yeah. Am I look? Yeah. Yay. Okay. W equals thirty two minus two times H. And what's the area? What's the area? And we need to check if, if do we need to check? Uh, no, we don't need to check, right? Because look, if it's up to sixteen, and this will be always bigger than zero, right? W will be always bigger than zero. Alright. Yeah. If it's all the integer. Look, 11, 12, and look, if W times H bigger than answer, right? Then we keep the answer. Answer equals W times H. Yeah? And then we, at last, we just return the answer. This is the maximum area we, we, can, we can get. Got it? Yeah, trying it out. You see? Four, is it? We're trying the integer. We're only trying the integer. Look, we are only trying the integer. Because if it is not integer, we, we can't try, right? Because there are so many fraction numbers, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, yeah? There are so many, many numbers, right? So you can't actually prove for thing. Well, if we oh. want to prove for thing, we have to, oh. if we have to try this uh, limited number of solutions, right? Like, like, like the, this domain has to be limited. It can't be ultimately large, right? And luckily, at this case, we only try 16 times, look, right? From one to fifteen, right? It's actually fifteen solutions. We so we list so instead of WH we list the H W, right? H equals one. We calculate W, we calculate L. H equals two. Up to fifteen, right? Only try fifteen. Try yeah? What's the time complexity for this one? Come on. Oh, uh think about it. What else is the time complexity? Oh and um, another little bit more. Look, this is the constant. Oh, and... No, no, no. Oh, one. This is a constant because... Look, <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Actually, they, there's no input, right? Because all the inputs are known, right? The, the inputs are known. And all, so they... Yeah, so it's O N. No, no, no. I want to say... Square. Come on, don't give up to your uh, answers. They, they, there's no input. Okay, so there's no input. There's no meaning of doing this uh, complexity. Uh, analysis, right? Because the, the problem size is fixed, and we are we only solving this mathematic problem. Okay. If if we want to keep the if if we want to know oh, which, sixteen. If we want to know the which number, which W or value, which W and H, when we get the maximum, so we can say look, we can have this. And we want to try this H, right? So we have max H equals one, and then look if W times H. Duh. Bigger than answer, we record the maximum uh, area, and then we, at the same time, we re remember the max h, which is max h equals yeah h, right? Does it make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to te teach you about the mathematics, which is very cool. You you're surprised how how useful is this? Okay. I will not say.
Why? Okay, so first of all, I want to introduce a few English words. Which one? The first one is quadratic. You might have heard of this before. Yeah. Quad. What's quad? Quadratic. Quadratic. No, no, no. Quadratic. One, two, two. three. Quadratic. Okay, four. and an equation, and then we have this. One, two, Symmet three. Symmetric. Symmetric. Four. H axis. What does it mean? Symmetric. Oh, symmetric axis is this. Uh, yeah, you can see. fold it. Yeah, yeah, you can fold it. Okay, good job. Uh, and how about this pair? Oh, pair uh, of how do you say? Parallelogram. No, parabola. Parabola. This is a very strange word. Parabola. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> parabola. Like it's parallel. No, no, no. It, it's like look. It's like when you throw the things and then how how it, how it uh when how it go right look. How it go? How it go? It's like look, look how it go, right? You throw the thing, you will be like that because of gravity, yeah, gravity, gravity. You know the gravity? But if an airplane, you will go like no. You, you know the gravity? Yeah. Because the gravity, gravity, the Earth are pulling us down, right? Yeah. If if there's no gravity, what happens? We'll be flying. Yeah. Like this. You know the Newton. You know the Newton. You Newton found Newton. The, the yeah, I know Newton. He, he, he had this apple. Apple, yeah, yeah. falling on tree. Yeah. And then remember, you, when you were a kid, you went to this botanic garden in Cambridge. And then, and then he then, gonged his head. And then he, he started to realize, why, why, why the apple fall down instead of flying up? And that's why he discovered gravity. Yeah. Yeah, the Earth's gravity. Because of the gravity, we have this gravity G, and then we're pulling the things far F, right? Look, so it, there, there's a... This is the object, this is the object, and then you have an F, right, we'll put it in. and then you have a G, and then that's why it will be something like that. that. He was like reading his book and then under the tree, he was like, yeah. boom, ah! Okay, so, okay, so, so, uh, so parabola is, is, is the like mathematics, parabola. right? Like, look, remember, this X, Y, right? This is X, this is Y, okay? So, Okay, if I have a function y equals x square, look, x square, square. x times x, this is quadratic because it's 8 square, okay? What, when x is 0, what's the value of y? Come on. Um, if x is 0. When x is 1, what's the value of y? 1, one huh? This yeah. is 1 here, okay? When x is 2, what's the value of y? 4. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that's so, really small. So look, 1, 2, 3, 4. When x is 2, y is 4, right? So it should be here. Right? You got it? Yeah. So if you when x is 3, you see you are 9. So it's somewhere here. So actually, if you connect to this point, what does it look like? Parabola, you know? You know, you, you have to flip it, flip it and look at this way, flip it. But look, when it's negative, when it's negative, you know, the negative is symmetric. Yeah, negative. Look, minus one square equals what? Um, minus one. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Double negative makes positive. Oh, yeah, zero. Ah, one square equals what? One. Min minus one square equals? One. Yeah, minus two square. Two square. My oh. final is there. Oh. Minus three square. Nine. Yes, yeah, you see. So what does it even mean? Look, if it's minus three, it's also nine, right? Yeah. When it's minus two, it's also four, yeah. So look, what does it mean? Symmetric axis. Yeah. Got it? Like this. Yeah, it can be folded along the these. So what's the symmetric axis in this in this case? Y equals x squared. Yeah. Y equals Y equals x squared. What's where? Which one is the symmetric axis? Come on, from this, which one is the symmetric axis? Um, these. Symmetric. Where are they folding to? To the y axis. Y axis, which is x equals zero, right? Got it? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So look. Ow. So, sorry. Okay. So look. So. What value? So this 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 function, every, every function of this y, uh, 
So this is quadratic function, okay? The quadratic function can be generalized as what? a times x squared plus bx plus c. Yeah, y equals that, right? What does it mean? a, b, c are constant. Okay, so can you tell me y equals x squared? What's the value of a, b, c? What's the value of a, b, c if y equals x squared? What's the value of a? Um, nothing. What's the value of a? A, a times x squared, what's the value of a? Come um, on. Double x squared. No, x squared, look, x squared. So what's the, before this, a? A, what's the value of a? A times x squared equals a squared. So what's the value of a? No, no, look, this is the same. So what a times x squared equals x squared. So what's a? Zero. Huh? One. One, come on. Yeah. What's the value of b? b times x equals nothing. So what's the value of b? b times x is nothing. So b is what? Zero. zero. And what c equals nothing. So what's the value of c? Zero. Okay, so let's look. So this, any, any, this, any, Quadratic equations can be simple, uh, generalized as this, A, B, C, okay? A, B, C. A is the constant of the, of, uh, of the constant that uh, comes before this quadratic term, right? And B is the linear term. C is the constant, right? Yeah. And wh why is it useful? Why is it useful? Because we can draw this, we can draw this, like that, yeah? This, this, this uh, there we go. When c is zero, what does it mean? When c is zero, this function goes to the zero, 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 right? Yeah? Look, if you put a zero in, this term will be zero, bx will be zero, right? Yes. And when c is zero, y is zero, right? Yes. Got it? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so if a is positive, like a, a is one, it will be like that. How about a is negative, like minus? y equals minus x squared. So what does it look like? Can you, can you imagine? Why, why, I told you, I, you know y equals x squared is here. And how about if I put a negative? Still, still on that side. The same. Sorry, same? No, 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 look. When x equals 1, what, what's the, you, can, you can have the value y equals what? Minus 1, right? When x equals 2, what? y equals what? Four, right? Yeah, so it's on this side, right? Why is mine? I literally said that. Well, so can you draw? Because I'm not sure what, what do you mean. Because I literally... Okay, well done. Can you draw? On which yeah. side? I saw you mean this side. Which side? That side. Yeah, this side. So it be... Yeah, well done. Yeah, okay. Like that, yeah? Yeah. You see? That's what so when, when A is negative, it'll be something like that, right? When A is positive, it'll be something like that, right? Okay? Yeah. That's the first thing. So... And if we find a symmetric axis, we can find a, we can find a maximum and min, or we can find a minimum, right, of the function at this point, yeah. If a is positive, or we can find the maximum value of this function if a is negative, right? All right. And okay, so what what's this part? Okay, okay, this, this part. Okay, Eric, this is the most important thing here. This axis. Symmetric axis is minus, look, 2 times a, b, okay? This is the, it, it, yeah? This, this is the symmetric x value. So when x equals this, we have a minimum or maximum value of this function, okay? Got it? Mm. Minus b divided by 2 times a. For example, look. Uh, a, a and B, look, B is zero, so so when B is zero, this whole thing is zero, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this whole thing is zero, so the, the symmetric axis is this, yeah, x equals zero, got it? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so look, this whole thing can be shifted, right, shifted, left or right, depending on this, lump, uh, this C, right, got it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so now we have these basics, then we can come back to solve the problem, very, very easy. Very, very easy, okay? How can we solve this? Look at this thing, this thing again, okay? This is like old wall, right? Old wall. And the guy wants to build a new, like a new fence, okay? Let's call it fence. This is edge 
this is W, okay? And we know W plus 2 times H equals 32, right? We already know that, right? And we want to maximize the function Y equals W times H, right? So what's W? W equals 32 minus 2 times H, am I right? Yeah? W equals 32 minus 2 times X. You, you moving this term from left side to the right side, you have to neglect the, the sign, right? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so Y equals what? Y equals this. 32 minus 2 times H times H, right? Yeah? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, so how, what's this? We can rewrite it as minus 2 H square plus 32 H. All right? You see? Minus 2, we have this minus 2. We take this outside, right? Minus 2 H square plus 32 H, right? Am I right? This is the function. Yeah. Okay, so what's, what's it? It's a quadratic equation, remember? What's, what's the sym symmetric axis? Remember, what's A? A equals what? One. Why is one? What is one? Why, why, what's this? this? Two. What's B? What's the constant before the linear term? What's, what's there already? What's there? Right there. Okay, what's C? Mm. What's C? Is there any constant here? No. So what's that? Zero. Okay, what's, what's its uh, axis? Yeah, yeah. What's its axis? This one. What's the this value? 32 minus what? Divided by, Divided by min, uh, minus 4, right? So we Why? have 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. We have a negative, so double negative makes positive, that will be 4. So what's A? What's, what, what's the value? What's H? So H, when H equals when h equals a, we have a maximum value. Am I right? Yeah. Why is that? Because a is negative. So the sign, the sign is like that, right? Something like that. It's, it's facing down. The, the parabola facing down. Facing down, we have a maximum value at here. Got it? Yeah. And w w when is the x, x, h? This is h now. h equals a because it's in the symmetric axis, right? Got it? So H is A, we have a maximum. So when H, H is A, what's the value of W? W equals what? When H is A, w, what's the value of W? 2 times A is 16. 16 plus something equals 32. What's the value of... What, what's, what's the value of W? 16. What's its size? What's its area? W times H, what's the area? This two times square, 128, right? This is the answer to the question on your book. You see? It's very cool, right? Yeah. Instead of listing the value in the tables, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, until 15, I, I can calculate when h equals 8. We have the maximum. Because, look, this function is that. Yeah? So it's facing down when h is... 8, okay, so, yeah, when h is 8 here, yeah, it has the maximum, okay? Yeah. Uh, any questions so far? Uh, no? No? No. Okay, so what have we learned today? What have we learned today? Wool. To sum up, eh, eh, to sum wool. up. Wool, out wool. Yeah, out the wool. To yeah. sum up. We, we call this, we call this y equals a times x times x, to ta look, this is so quadrated, alright? Yeah. Plus b times x plus c, where a is not equal to zero, yeah? If a, if a is zero, then it's, it, what's bx plus c? If a is zero, what happens? It means this is zero, so F, um, so y will be b x plus c, and what's this? This is a line. This is a line, okay? Yeah. And if a is not equal to zero, b c 
can be zero, right? Yeah. So this is a quadratic, it's a parabola, right? Parabola. Parabola, right? Parabola. And it's a symmetric axis, you know, fold it, when you fold it. It's symmetric axis minus two times a, b, right? Yeah. And when a, a is bigger than zero, right? When a is bigger than zero, the parabola is facing facing up or facing down? I'm facing down. Uh, facing up, come on, facing up is something like that. When a is smaller than zero, it's facing up or facing down. down. It's the opposite, right? It's the opposite. So when a is bigger than zero, and when x is at this point, when x is this point, does this paragraph have a maximum or minimum value? This one, when a is bigger than zero, and when x is at this point, the symmetric axis. So does it have a big, a maximum value or a minimum value? Max. This point is maximum or minimum. Come on. Minimum. You look at this. All other points are bigger than this. This is the lowest point. So, and how about this? When a is negative than zero. Maximum. Yeah. When you are x at this point, you will have maximum value, right? You see, yeah. that's the important takeaway. So you can use these techniques to solve those. Questions, mathematic challenge on your book, easily, beautifully. Got it? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, that's it for today. Good job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.